Dividing Fractions, Part 2. The bar model can also be used to divide fractions by other fractions. Mr. Felix modeled the problem 7 eighths divided by 2 eighths in the bar model below. Complete the model below to show how many groups Mr. Felix will make. So the first one has already been done for us. It has come to eight pieces and they shaded in seven. So now we need to complete this second one. So I'm gonna do this by dividing it into eight sections since our second fraction is two eighths. So now I need to shade in our second fraction bar. And just like in the last lesson, the amount we shade needs to match the top fraction bar. So I'm going to shade in seven boxes. And I'm just going to do that by putting this blue box, lighter blue box around it. Now what I'm going to do is that the problem tells me we are dividing by two eighths. So now I'm going to break this into two groups. So each one of my groups is going to have two eighths. So I have one group, I have two group, and I have three group. And then here at the end, I have one eighth left over, and I can see that that is one out of two boxes, so that would be half of a group. So seven eighths divided by two eighths is equal to three and a half. Use the model below to show how many times one half will fit into five sixths, or five sixths divided by one half. So my top fraction bar is going to match our first fraction, which is 5, 6. So I need to start by breaking this into 6 groups. Now that I've broken it apart into 6 groups, I need to take 5 of those and shade it in. And I'm just going to do that by putting a yellow box around 5 of the boxes. So that represents 5, 6. And now I need to do the second fraction bar, which will represent 1 half. So I'm going to start by breaking that into half. And now I need to shade in. And remember that the amount I shade in on our fraction bar, on our second fraction bar, needs to match exactly what I shaded in on the top fraction bar. So that means I'm not quite shading in two full pieces. So I have one whole group. And now I need to figure out which is left over in our second group. So I can see that to make one half, I would need three pieces. And of those three pieces, two of them are shaded in. So this would represent two thirds. So five six divided by one half is the same as one and two thirds. Now we are gonna practice finding the reciprocal of fractions. So if I have 16 21st and I need to find the reciprocal, that simply means that I need to flip my fraction upside down. So 16 21st would become 21 16th. 8 over 11 would become 11 8 3 over 1, and this is why it is important that we we remember to put whole numbers over one because when we find the reciprocal of three over one, that is one third. And then the reciprocal of one fifth would become five over one. All right, so now let's practice dividing our fractions. I have one fourth divided by three fifths. So I'm gonna start by keeping my first fraction, so one fourth. I change my symbol and then I flip my second fraction. So I have one fourth times five thirds. One times five is five, four times three is 12. And in order to simplify, I need to be able to divide top and bottom by the exact same number. And five and 12 do not have any numbers in common. So my final answer is five twelfths. Now I have seven eighths divided by one fourth. So I'm gonna keep my first fraction, change my symbol, flip my second fraction. Seven times four is 28, eight times one is eight. 
And this is an improper fraction, meaning we don't want to leave it that way. We do want to turn it into a mixed number. So 8 can go in to 28 three times, because 8 times 3 is 24. To find what's left, I'm going to do 28 minus 24, which is 4. So that becomes 3 and 4 eighths. And remember to simplify, I need to be able to divide top and bottom by the same number. And I can divide top and bottom both by 4. So my final answer is 3 and 1 half. I have 2 and 5 6 divided by 2 thirds. So it's important to remember that we can only divide a fraction by fraction. So I need to turn my mixed number into an improper fraction. And I'm going to do that by taking my denominator and multiplying it by my whole number. And then I add my numerator. So 6 times 2 is 12 plus 5 is 17. So my new fraction is 17 6. Then I change my division symbol and I flip my second fraction. And now I can multiply. So I have 17 times 3. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. So my numerator is 51. 6 times 2 is 12. And now I need to simplify. So I know that 12 can go into 51 4 times, because 4 times 12 is 48. So now I need to figure out how much I have left over. So I'm going to do 51 minus 48. So I have 3 left over. So that gives me 3 twelfths. I can divide top and bottom by 3. So my final answer is 4 and 1 fourth. Now I have 3 tenths divided by 3 fifths. So I'm going to keep my first fraction, change my symbol, flip my second fraction. And here's a quick, quick tip. When we have two numbers that are identical in the numerator and the denominator, they cancel out. So I can get rid of this 3 and I can get rid of this 3 and those would become 1. And we know anything times 1 is our cell, is itself, so my new fraction would simply be 5 tenths. So in this case, I didn't have to do any multiplying. And now I know that I can divide top and bottom by 5. So my final answer is 1 half. So now we're going to practice dividing the fractions in the table below. In step one, rewrite your problem to multiply by the reciprocal. In step two, show your work and simplify. Then write your solution in the simplest form. So I have 5 twelfths divided by 2 fifths. So I keep my first fraction, change my symbol, flip the second fraction. 5 times 5 is 25. 12 times 2 is 24. Simplify, 24 can go into 5 one time with 1 left over. So my final answer is 1 and 1, 24. Next, I have 2 and 3 fourths divided by 1 and 4 sevenths. So I need to change these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So I have 11 fourths divided by 11 sevenths. So I keep my first fraction, change my symbol, flip my second fraction. In here I can do that trick that I did in that other problem we did because 11 and 11 are the same, so those can cancel out. One and one, seven times one is seven, four times one is four. Four can go into seven once with three left over. So my final answer, one and three fourths. Our last one, I have 5 and 1 third divided by 2 fifths. So I need to change my mixed number into an improper fraction. So I have 16 thirds divided by 2 fifths. I'm going to keep my first fraction, change my symbol, flip my second fraction. 16 times 5 is 80. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 can go into 80 13 times with 2 left over. 
I can simplify that further by dividing top and bottom by 2. So my final answer is 13 and 1 third. Circle the name of any student who wrote a division problem with a quotient between 1 and 3. So I have Kina who has 2 and 1 half divided by 2 and 1 third. I need to start by changing my mixed numbers into improper fractions. So now I have 5 halves divided by 7 thirds. I'm going to keep my first fraction, change my symbol, flip my second fraction. 5 times 3 is 15, 2 times 7 is 14. Change my improper fraction into a mixed number. 14 can go into 15 once with 1 left over. So my final answer is 1 and 1 14th. So Kina's answer does fall between 1 and 3. So now I have Milton, who has 3 and 1 fifth divided by 2 sevenths. So I need to start by changing my mixed number into an improper fraction. So now I have 16 fifths divided by 2 sevenths. So I'm going to keep my first fraction, change my symbol, flip my second fraction. 16 times 7 is 112. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 can go in 112 11 times with two left over, so that'd be two tenths. Simplify that even further, I get 11 and 1 fifth. And 11 and 1 fifth does not fall between one and three. And lastly, we have Lily who has one and three fourths divided by two thirds. So I need to start by changing my mixed number to an improper fraction. So now I have seven fourths divided by two thirds. I keep my first fraction, I change my symbol, and I flip the second fraction. So 7 times 3 is 21, 4 times 2 is 8. So I have 21 eighths, which I need to change into a mixed number. 8 can go into 21 twice with 5 left over. So my answer is 2 and 5 eighths, which is between 1 and 3. So briefly summarize today's lesson.